I said that I said that one. That one's beautiful. That one's I'd wear that. I need to get me some pants like that. I think those are cute. Um, yes. I like these. I think they feel good. What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we are back for our second two-in-one WWE Elite Series 79 review on the brand new Elite 79, Daniel Bryan and Xavier Woods. Now, you're probably wondering, MDT, why in the blue hell would you not review Xavier Woods and Big E together? And my honest answer is, I don't really know why the hell I'm doing that. I really just wanted to get into this Daniel Bryan and I really wanted to see this Up Up Down Down Championship and I really didn't want to review two members of the New Day, you know? Just because their attires are going to be similar. I wanted to get two different style figures here, and we'll finish those other two up tomorrow with the Elite Series 79 ranking, so we'll check that out tomorrow. But anyways, guys, let's get into the review. You guys can see here, we do have the front viewing window of Daniel Bryan and Xavier Woods, both coming with interchangeable heads. For Daniel Bryan, you get the little long hair, and then for Xavier Woods, you get the interchangeable Snoop Dogg head skull, which is pretty interesting. But spinning it around here, guys, you will see a beautiful image of Xavier Woods and Daniel Bryan there. On the back, you, of course, have the same image and some bio reads and as well as some career highlights if you'd like to read it you can pause it now rest of the figures in the wave another image of both men here and then on the front we're back where we started ladies and gentlemen before we slam these figures into each other you can get these things at ringside collectibles using promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent and a huge shout out to ringside collectibles for making the review possible so here's Daniel Bryan and Xavier Woods out of their packaging. Guys, looking pretty freaking swell, man. You know, I think that we are going to be happy with these figures, but we won't know indeed unless we dive into all the details of these figures, taking a closer look at their accessories, as well as their head sculpts, their figures themselves, see how they compare to others, and just find out what the hell these guys are all about. So I think how we're going to do this one, guys, we're going to start off with Daniel Bryan, and then we're going to cover Daniel Bryan himself, and then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at Xavier Woods, and then take a look at Jeff uh, and Flick. A flag it flew. Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Wood's accessories and then Wood himself. So let's go ahead and dive into Daniel Bryan's accessories. So for Daniel Bryan's accessories, guys, we do get four pairs of interchangeable hands as well as two interchangeable head sculpts and we actually have seen both of these head sculpts before. These are both not brand new. It does seem like they did fix the issue with this head sculpt, though. I feel like on the Elite 73, which is what this is, they made the the eye color way too light and he kind of looked like a ghost. It looks like they have fixed it here, made it more of a darker color, and it looks freaking fantastic. What a perfect head sculpt. We will compare it later on in the video to the Elite 73 head sculpt. But this looks so good. I think they nailed it. I do have a little bit of, like, he got bit or so. I don't know what's going on right here. Like, he got punctured in the freaking face or something. <laughs> but this head sculpt looks great. And then we have the updated Elite 19 with True Effects. And this one's looking off to the right. And if this head sculpt over here looks familiar, it is because this is the head sculpt that a lot of people use to make their Kenny Omega figures. They usually shave the hair down, put a DDP hair piece on there. And that is what I have used for my Kenny Omega that you guys see on the pick fed ever since, uh, ever. I've always used the Daniel Bryan head sculpt. This is the one that I've used for, for a while with the long beard and stuff. They have repainted it. He is looking off to the right, which I'm not a big fan of, but it does look like Daniel Bryan. I would much prefer him looking straight on like this. I, I freaking love this head sculpt, though. That's probably one of the best Mattel head sculpts they've ever done, probably. I like the hair color in it. The beard color looks nice. These are two beautiful head sculpts, and you get two different options, and you guys know how, how we pop those on. You put them over the chin, and then you push down with the palm, and then the same thing for this head sculpt. This is the one, obviously, that it comes with out of the packaging on the figure and then for his interchangeable hands you have to have his signature yes hand so you have the pointing fingers or the yes chant hands then you do have interchangeable fists with this guy you also get the throne sitting hands or the praying hands or the flying knee hands you know where he slaps his thigh right there and then you have the signature goat hands which are the mic holding hands everybody loves mic holding hands object holding hands these are the goats so there you go but that pretty much does it for Daniel Bryan's accessories I would have liked to seen maybe I don't know uh a strap or something. This is supposed to be the strap match where he took on the Fiend Bray Wyatt. I think a strap accessory would have been cool or maybe another cloth t-shirt, you know, that one that says yes with like the woods behind it or whatever and like that lightish blue color maybe or that grayish color, whatever that was. That would have been really cool, but this is what we get. I'm not going to complain about it. I really enjoy what we got here, so plenty of interchangeable hands, two great head sculpts. Let's move on to Daniel Bryan himself. Alright guys, so getting into Daniel Bryan himself now, I don't think we really have to do a comparison of the head sculpt. You guys saw 
saw what it looked like. I mean, it looks like Daniel Bryan, right? We know it looks like Daniel Bryan. I think we can all agree here that it looks like Daniel Bryan. This figure doesn't have a lot of details going on with it. You got your standard Daniel Bryan torso. You do have your white wrist tape arms there. In the attire, it is pretty much just like his last Elite. What the hell? It's got, you know, I call it the Captain Planet attire. Captain Planet! He's a hero! Gonna take pollution down to zero. I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but you get the brown stripes on the outside. You do get the grass little pattern on the inside there. I like this attire actually more than his last one. You got the black lower legs. Same pattern on the knee pads there. I think they nailed this. I, I really like the attire. Very unique, very different. I know it's very similar to his last one, but like the colors and the grass theme and the woods theme and the hippie style theme, I really like. I think this attire is absolutely beautiful. I like the green and black. I like the brown. This is sick. I really like this Daniel. Brian, I think it's a very strong figure and not a lot of details going on with it, but I still like it a whole lot. And Daniel Bryan figures are usually really underrated, so there you go. But let's get into some Daniel Bryan Elite Figure comparisons. All right, guys, so for your Daniel Bryan Elite Figure comparisons, you guys can see here we have the brand new Elite 79 here, you have the Elite 73 over here, you have the Elite 68 over here, and then you have the Fan Central with the Elite 73 head sculpt. We do have the interchangeable head sculpt here with the GM Daniel Bryan that was a fix up to make him look similar to this, which is what he looked like when he wrestled the fiend and we kind of tried to make like a quick custom there for the figures but uh, you guys can see i mean daniel bryan figures are very similar i think we have a lot of them right i think there's like 13 or 12 or something like that daniel bryan elites there's another ranking style video we can do need to get back on those i enjoyed those a bunch but here is the comparison in the head sculpts you guys have the fan central which is the elite 73 head sculpt which is this figure over here but as you guys can see they definitely made the eyes darker i think the one on the left the elite 79 looks better even though this is a very good head sculpt. The Elite 73 is pretty damn good. It does have a little hole right there. Pretty, pretty freaking pissed off about that. But the, the colors and the eyes, I mean, this right here is perfection. I think this head sculpt would look super damn good on like an Elite 32 Daniel Bryan, you know, when he was with the Wyatts. I think that would be super sick since this head sculpt looks much better than the Elite 32 head sculpt ever did. It's kind of crazy when you think about the head sculpts and how they progressed and stuff. Same thing with this one if you compare this one to like the Elite 38. I think that's crazy, man. The true effects has come a long way. They've done so good with it, but that pretty much does it for your Daniel Bryan Elite figure comparisons. I wish I had more to compare. I do have some older ones, but the head sculpts are kind of similar from fix-ups and stuff, but let's get into Xavier Woods. So for Xavier Woods accessories, guys, you will see here that you get a plethora of stuff. Let's start off with the head sculpts over here, guys. This is the one that it comes with out of the packaging, and I think this is a fantastic head sculpt. I think it looks just like Xavier Woods. I like the ponytail that you get going on. I like the expression. I think the, you know, the likeness is totally there. I like the beard that we got going on here. Very, very nice. And then you have the Snoop Dogg or the braided head accessory. This just looks like Snoop Dogg, I guess, with the braids pulled back, and then you have all these beads going on. Very nice details and sculpt here. The sunglasses are not removable. They are in a nice red color, and you can kind of tell that it's Xavier Woods, at least by the expression. You know, I feel like all his figures make that face, or they're smiling, so I mean, you know, you know, it's Xavier Woods. He's always being goofy and stuff like that, so there is the interchangeable head sculpt, and you know, I don't remember exactly when he looked like this. I can't remember the exact moment, but here is that. That looks pretty swell. Out of the packaging, of course, you do get Mike holding hands with the beautiful hand tape on there that matches his attire. And then he also has, I guess you would call this the the like, I guess this could be like his entrance hands where, you know, he opens up his hand and he's playing the trumpet. You know, he's playing the instrument with his one hand and then he's using this hand to kind of, you know, celebrate and open up to the audience. So it's like, bam, 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 and all that BS. So there you go. You get the uh, nice ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands. Then we have this absolutely stunning up, up, down, down championship belt. And this is a championship belt that he uses on his own gaming YouTube channel. And you guys can see here on the side plates, it does say Austin Creed. That is his actual real name. That is Xavier Woods' real name. It's got up, up, down, down. You got these directional pads here. It's a gaming channel. I love this championship. I've always loved it. I always thought it was great and fantastic. I really want my own custom MDT championship. I've approached some custom belt makers, but I don't ever get really a response back. I'm not exactly sure why that is. If you guys know any great custom belt makers or if any of my followers are custom belt makers i really want an mdt replica you know gold plated i want the i want the real stuff metal plates zebra print strap i want the whole nine i'm willing to pay whatever it takes but this up up down down championship is absolutely beautiful and i'm happy to have it in the collection officially from mattel i think that's absolutely fantastic uh here is my custom one that i've had for a while you can
can see my other one is a little bit outsized and maybe not the most accurate. I guess he replaced these arrows with Austin Creed side plates, but I'm super happy to finally have an official one here from Mattel and you know, I don't have to worry about a custom one. This looks much better anyway and it looks great. I'm happy to add this to the collection there. And then of course you wouldn't be the same without Francesca, I believe is the name of the instrument in this lightish teal colorway. I think we've had it in all kinds of color. I think we've had it in silver. We've had it in this blue colorway. We've had it in gold. I think we've even had it in this blue color or this bluish green color multiple times now. So that's pretty cool to see. You know, Xavier Woods has been on TV for a little bit. So maybe we can get him back. Can't wait to see what he does when he returns. But that pretty much does it for Xavier Woods accessories, man. Pretty good stuff. I like all the stuff he comes with. And if you're a big, you know, up, up, down, down fan, then this is absolutely great. You know that if you guys don't subscribe or follow his YouTube gaming channel, Up, Up, Down, Down, I highly recommend it. Very fun, very cool to see, you know, all the people, all the different superstars and stuff get on there and gaming and challenging each other. But let's dive into Xavier Woods himself. So for Xavier Woods, guys, I mean, this head sculpt is pretty damn nice. I like the hair detail, the beard detail. The face looks just like him. I don't think we have to argue. We took a closer look at it in the accessories department. I really do love this. It looks like they widened or or widen the stomach and chest hair, maybe lightened up the chest a little bit here. I think this is a perfect torso for Xavier Woods. I like the arm choice. I love the attire. The attire is sick. This is probably my favorite New Day attire that we have gotten so far. You have all of these things going on. Zoom in here. I love how they have like this tie-dye stuff going down into the knees, into the kick pads. You do have that stitch pattern on the back, which is what they usually use for Woods. You do have the Woods on the side there. New Day logo. Love all these blue colors. The purple, the pink, the light blue. All of it looks absolutely fantastic. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it looks on the figure. Super sick. You do have the elf kick pads of the elf shoes right there, which is synonymous with Xavier Woods, and uh, they usually don't give them any knee pads, which isn't needed. I think it works out great. This is terrific. I like this a lot. I think they did a really good job on this Xavier Woods. Probably my favorite Xavier Woods to date. I think this is the best New Day set. It's like every New Day set that we get, it gets better and better every single time, which is kind of insane, but uh, usually that's the case with all figures, right? I mean, sometimes the last figure is better, but I think that New Day holds true that their new figures are great, but that does it for Xavier Woods, guys. Let's dive into some elite Xavier Woods figure comparisons. And for our Xavier Woods Elite Figure Comparisons, guys, you can see our first Xavier Woods, our second, our third, our fourth, and now our finally updated Xavier Woods here. And they all vary in attire. They're very, very similar. You know, they pretty much are the same, except the head sculpts are tweaked just a little bit. These pretty much have the exact same head sculpt, if I'm not mistaken. And this one's the same, except it has a different haircut. And then their attires are just changing colors, and their armbands are changing colors, and then their vests, of course. I don't think this came with a vest. This one came with a vest, and this one did not come with a vest. So there is that, but you know, I still like the Xavier Woods figures. They're fun to collect, very bright attires and everything. I would love to know down in the comment section below which is your favorite. I honestly would love to get a bunch of this head sculpt and then replace all these head sculpts to make them look better because all of these are pretty much outdated and they don't have true effects and the likeness is kind of there, but not really. This is definitely the best. And you could always, you know, like acetone or take off, uh, you know, shave off the beard and make it look more like a younger Xavier Woods from back in the day with New Day when they first began. But that pretty much does it for our Xavier Woods Elite Figure Comparisons. And one more thing before we get out of here, I do want to compare Xavier Woods to his tag team partner, Kofi Kingston, because we did get, you know, Kofi Kingston in this attire for Elite Series 78. So there is the new Elite 79 Xavier Woods up next to his tag team partner, Elite Series 78 Kofi Kingston with a head swap and a boot swap. But, you know, it still works out. They're matching here. They look great. I like the attires and the sleeves and everything. Can't wait to unpack Big E and see what he looks like. We will take a look at what Big E looks like with the set once we reach tomorrow's video of Elite Series 79 rank. Alright guys, now it is the time of the video where I bring in my wife to see what she thinks of the brand new Elite Series 79 Daniel Bryan and Xavier Woods. So this is the new one. Oh wow, yeah. First of all, love, 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 love. <laughs> so cute. The hair, I think the hair actually looks a ton better than the last one. It just has a lot more detail in it. I think it looks way more like him. They did, they did really good on the chest hair. They, uh, I mean, it kind of looks the same, but it's it goes up a little bit more. Overall, I think this one is much better than that one by far. Now, out of these two, hmm. This is oh, like, yeah, I think this one actually looks a lot more like him. I see. They did the new hair. Well, this is an older head sculpt. They just kind of... He cut his hair again, and they tried to, they used it to be like, oh, this is what he looked like again. So they just reused the head sculpt so they didn't have to re-sculpt something. That's why they gave him a long-haired head sculpt and a short-haired head sculpt because he shaved his head for this match. Well, again, I prefer this one. I think this face looks more 
like him. What do you think about the attire? Versus this one. Oh, yeah. I like the... Oh, okay. Is that zebra? Okay, it's grass. This looks kind of like zebra. I get the effect they're going for here, but I'm kind of feeling more of a zebra look. But I still dig it. I like it. I think the color looks good. I like the design. I like that. It's super cute. What do you think about his attire? I said that I said that one. That one's beautiful. That one's... I'd wear that. I need to get me some pants like that. I think those are cute. Um, yes. I like these. I think they feel good. Nice fit nicely in the hand. Another easily placed figure, which I like. I don't like when they're all toppling over and stuff. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a solid 10 out of 10. I like them both. I think they both look really good. They look like the person, especially this one. I think the hair on that one, they just kind of threw that on there. I think the hair on this looks much better. Face on this one looks much better. I like it. Daniel Bryan, Xavier Woods, 10 out of 10. I like it. Cute outfits too. But I think that pretty much does it for this two-in-one WWE Elite Series 79 review on Daniel Bryan and Xavier Woods. Both are really strong figures, man. I really like both of them. I like their accessories. You know, Daniel Bryan coming with a cloth t-shirt would have been a lot nicer. However, you know, the, the interchangeable head sculpts are really sweet. I like both attires. I love the Up, Up, Down, Down Championship and the updated New Day. This is definitely the best set of New Day. Now, if you would like to grab either of these figures, guys, any of Elite Series 79, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD Toy to save yourselves 10%. They have plenty of all kinds of action figures, like ridiculous amounts of wrestling figures and accessories, tables, ladders, chairs, things that you see on MDT. You can get that from Ringside Collectibles, so use promo code MDTOYS to save 10% over there. That is the number one place to get figures, and you don't have to wait on them to hit your Walmart and then sell out and stuff, so you definitely want to grab them from Ringside Collectibles. Use that promo code, save some freaking money. If you guys are interested in either of these, and should you pick them up, if you ask me, I would say yes on... I'd honestly probably say yes to both if you're missing a Daniel Bryan. If you guys really want the updated head sculpt, if you guys missed out on Elite 73 Daniel Bryan, I would replace any of your old Xavier Woods with this one because this one is the best. I do like this attire. I love the Up Up Down Down Championship. I think it'd be a really cool pick fed championship for somebody. It's not as customizable because it's not, you know, hard plastic plates. I think it is rubber. It doesn't have removable plates on it. But I really love the Daniel Bryan attire. I like the interchangeable head sculpts. I like the Xavier Woods in interchangeable head sculpts. But if you guys do not want to update either of your figures and you already have Daniel Bryan's or Xavier Woods, I would totally understand it. But that is my personal review of Elite Series 79, Bryan and Woods. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of the figures down in the comment section below. I'm very interested to see how I rank these figures when we get to the ranking video tomorrow. I guess we'll just have to see about that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys to save yourself. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you